My name is Joy Kagawa, and um, I'm here to talk about Gentle to Nagasaki. I'm going to be reading the invocation, I guess I could call it, um, for the Goddess of Mercy. The whole book really is a scream for mercy. Mercy for the human condition, mercy for my dad. It's an effort to go through hell, through the hell that one needs to suppress in order to survive. A particular personal hell, and a more public hell, the, the hell that exists between countries, between histories that are insufficiently known or told, um, about the people that struggle with that. The book may not be so much about all these things, but after it's been written, it comes to me as a project that needs to be followed through with the kind of issues that go on for generations um, without let up. People get identified and stuck in identity. So in order to survive, don't suppress the truth. Enter it, embrace it, acknowledge it. If you don't, you will not come to reconciliations that are so essential. So well, the part that I'm going to read is just an invocation to the goddess to attend us, to be with us as she is, um, and to lead us. If I could follow the stream down and down to the hidden voice, would I come at last to the freeing word? In the dark light before dawn, in the deep light before dawn, the hidden voice comes, named and nameless, the goddess of mercy, she, the compassionate one who heeds the wailing in a world of weeping, comes to us. She dances the transition between moon and morning, robed in the whiteness of clouds, down and down through the sensate sea, down through the amniotic deep, she dances, a rider of the vast turtle that roams the eastern myths. We hear her, in the breath surrounding this blue-green planet, her singing as sunlight in the new day rising, in the first call of the first creatures, in the orchestrators of waking, we hear her. I am with you, she sings. I am with you through the water, under the water, in the birthing, in the forgetting, in the terror and at the heart of what you most fear, I am with you. Through the long dark night of every absence, I am with you. Therefore, fear not.